Okay, firstly we're going to look at how we can obtain, how we can get new copper. We can either dig copper oxide out of the ground and then react it with carbon. And copper oxide reacts with carbon to form copper and carbon dioxide. So we can say that the copper oxide, because it's lost the oxygen, it has been reduced. Um, the second way we can do it is just simply recycling old used copper. The advantages of this is that recycling saves resources and it saves energy and it's cheaper. However, the disadvantages are that you may need to sort the copper from all the other materials it's with. And even then, when you've got it, it may not be pure, so you may have to purify it. So to purify copper, to make it pure, we use electrolysis. We need a power supply, we need two electrodes, one anode and one cathode, and we need something called an electrolyte, which is the, an, a liquid which we put the electrodes into. Now, the anode is made out of impure copper, and that's going to dissolve and it's going to lose mass. The cathode becomes plated with pure copper, and that's going to gain mass. So what happens at the anode is that it loses, it releases copper ions and it releases, it loses electrons. And what happens at the cathode is that electrons are gained and that new copper metal is gained around the cathode.